So the project started in 2015 after uh, do the research. Uh, um, the conservation of Al Jazeera Hamra is difficult and it's hard work uh, because we start it's the team of uh, the restoration starts with also before uh, restoration should have excavation by archaeologists, restoration, in the end develop the site which we are doing now on the site. Uh, I will explain to you everything um, during the session today. Uh, to understand what the meaning of conservation in general and understand the material of uh, the site and how we are do preservation for uh, the Jazeera Al-Hamra until we are uh, develop the site. Okay, let's start. Okay. Okay, uh, in general, conservation of cultural heritage, it's measures taken to extend the life of cultural heritage. Uh, while well, transmission of its significant heritage message and value. This is the meaning of, mm, this is the meaning of uh, conservation of cultural heritage in general. Uh, the conservation uh, and conservation should be not uh, like, okay, we will do any conservation, should have principal conservation. Principal conservation, it's me first, preserve the authenticity of the site, uh, minimum intervention, minimum lose of fabric, reversibility, visibility of the new intervention, preserve the value of the site. This is the meaning of the conservation of cultural heritage in general. Uh, what this meaning, this meaning like when we are work in any site, we should, uh, okay, but just okay. Uh, yeah? okay. Okay, so, uh, yes, uh, conservation should be uh, at minimum uh, uh, intervention on the site because uh, 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 the, the concept of the conservation is to protect what we have, not to change it, and to preserve the authenticity of the site uh, as what we found, like as, as the condition of the site. Okay, Al Jazeera Al Hamra Heritage Village, uh, as Muhammad say, and give you a short introduction. I will just mention about uh, also a historical uh, introduction. Uh, it was situated on a lagoon uh, of three kilometer uh, length. Uh, it was island. Uh, after develop the area, uh, it was now uh, yani just the sea, it's f the beach, it's from this side. Uh, it's about 45 hectare. Uh, we have um, around 450 uh, house uh, with courtyard and 11 mosques and uh, shops, a souk, uh, a school. Um, this uh, also, uh, Al Jazeera Al Hamra, it was the hometown of Al Zaab tribe and uh, they are live here, they are working here in fish, uh, 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 barrel fish and uh, making the boat. Uh, they are, uh, also they are built their uh, houses from the material which they are found in the area. Okay. Okay, now this uh, situation of Al Jazeera Al Hamra. This uh, includes the er heritage area and the uh, other building. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is the map of our uh, work, restoration and conservation. This is all the building which we are did uh, and completed uh, restoration and conservation. Uh, it's above uh, 60 house uh, between conservation and restoration. Uh, as I said, before we start our work uh, for conservation, uh, is that we, we did uh, excavation uh, for each building. We will work on it. And uh, some of uh, a site also, it's just archaeological site as a ground mosque and the other mosque near the fort. And uh, near the shop, we did a lot of also excavation and we found archaeological uh, site uh, from the old shop. How, can I just ask, how did you choose which ones for restoration and which 
Okay. When we start the project, we choose first the most important building on uh, Al Jazeera Al Hamra, which uh, is the fort, the mosques, and the uh, Sassouk area, uh, and the houses which in the middle of Al Jazeera Al Hamra, which was the oldest uh, uh, zone of Al Jazeera Al Hamra. So later on, after we uh, finish this uh, first uh, phase of restoration, we start to do connection between the two phases, between the souk area and the fort area. Here's the fort, this we call it fort area. Here's the souk, we call it souk area. And we later, we start to do connection to activate the site. So where are we now on this map? On this map, we are here. Okay. This is the image. <laughs> if you have any questions, please feel free just to. I have one. Yes, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when you said you're doing excavation, how deep do you dig and when you said building excavations, does that mean you alter the building? Yeah, I am not an archaeologist, but oh. yeah, the archaeologists here can ask them after <laughs> the session, but it depends, depends the, uh, the, uh, the trench which they will do it and what they are looking for. Maybe after 50 centi you will start to find the remains, so they will continue until uh, have more results. But uh, uh, in general, when we are start in any building, they are start first uh, open trench. After their uh, research, like where we should open, like maybe just around the wall, uh, maybe in some area, it's they are know before like this oldest uh, part of the building, so they should start uh, uh, think where we, they should open the trash. Sometime uh, from the old map of Al Jazeera Al Hamra, they know from the map like where we have um, old tower, but it's not exist now, so they will do uh, excavation to find the remain. Okay, we'll start with the material of Al Jazeera Al Hamra. Al Jazeera Al Hamra are built from coral stone, beach rock, and sand, uh, sandstone block. Uh, why? Because uh, we are in coastal area, so they are uh, used what what we what the uh, sources they have here. So. Um, a beach rock is a, uh, uh, this is a coral stone, and when you are walking in Al Jazeera Al Hamra, you will see many uh, type of uh, many different uh, shape of uh, coral stone. This one shape, I put it, and the uh, second slide, you will see here the beach rock. Beach rock, it's they are bring it before from the lagoon, from the edge of the lagoon. Uh, uh, they are, yeah, yani they are cut it and use it here, and not just in um, Al Jazeera Al Hamra, but most of uh, the village or the building near the beach in Emirates, they are built from coral stone and beach rock. But uh, Al Jazeera Al Hamra is unique because it's totally, and all the buildings are built from this type of material and still exist until today. And this is the type of sandstone. Sandstone block, uh, they made it after, yani they are used in late period here. First, they are you start to use a bit uh, Irish structure. After Irish st structure, they are start to use the stone, beach uh, rock, and sand uh, and um, coral stone. After this, they are start made this block uh, from shells, from uh, sand, and from uh, gypsum and lime. How we know what the materials they are used in this block? We did. Uh, uh, scientists here, uh, they came for mission and they did uh, many uh, tests for the material, for the block, for uh, the mortar, to know what they are used before so they can recommend for us what sh material we should use. Okay, after they are built, you will see the wall of beach stone, it's looking in this way. The coral stone also, it's looking in this way. And uh, they are built. For beach rock and the coral stone, they are built like layer by layer, and you will see in the end the building like have like line, so you will know where exactly the line of uh, the beach rock or the coral stone. What did they use to gel them together? Yeah, they are used the mortar, and mortar it was from the old mortar, it was also from gypsum, and some uh, sometimes they are put also some lime. Um, and uh, sand f from the beach and other sand, and sometimes we, we found some shells. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and now we are also use the same, but yani, with improved material, like we are use uh, a lime, but it's hydraulic lime, and we are uh, 
we are trying to يعني, not to change the type of material because this uh, يعني, it's better to the, to, for the building to use the same material as before. But even we will use the same, same recipe, you can't find uh, the same result as before because the material, the original material and the material now it's have different uh, characteristics. Yeah. Even يعني, it's the same material. Because before it was natural and now they are made it on uh, manufacture. Okay, so you can see here uh, a coral stone wall, how it would be look. It's very looking nice and sometimes the coral stone, it's, it's so big. Last time we found one, it's, it's, it's huge, it's like this one. And uh, uh, sometimes the bit for me, يعني, during the work, the, the wall which is fr made from coral stone, it's more stable than the wall which made from the block and from the beach rock. Why? Because uh, uh, coral stone have boards, big boards, so it can, uh, يعني, um, keep in all the, uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, can stop the salt uh, because because uh, have this uh, big board, but uh, the beach stone or or the sand brick uh, sandstone sandstone block it's uh, it's full of uh, salt because of the material all of this material it's coming from the beach so it's full of the stone uh, of the salt and after many years it starts the salt affect the building. Okay, uh, we will start now to know how we are start conservation the site. Conservation have like many steps. First step, and this is the most important step, is uh, uh, documentation. For me, it's the most important, يعني, even more important than conservation. Be why? Because sometimes you don't have time to do any conservation or restoration for, for the building. And uh, if you have documentation, you can anytime back to restore it or to uh, uh, conserve this um, building. And we can see now around the world uh, when we have like war or any natural, uh, natural uh, crisis or something, um, if we lose, the, uh, if we lost the building, we can't يعني, back if we don't have documentation. But the, if we have any documentation, anything will happen. At least, okay, we will, lo we will lose the value of the building, the historical value, but at least we can rebuild it, we can recon uh, do reconstruction. So the documentation starts first with the history. We should co collect uh, the material of the history. And we should, uh, second uh, thing, it's photography, digital photography, uh, metry, uh, recording, and the drawing. Next. Okay, for history, um, the most important uh, thing to uh, meet the people who, who lived here before. Uh, because, uh, and we are, يعني, يعني we are lucky because they are still, some, most of them, they are still alive or they're, uh, their uh, parents still alive, so we can meet them to take information, to take from them the old photos. They can come to the site and explain to us how they are living before. So the story from uh, the resident is most important. Second uh, uh, thing, it's the reference from uh, from the book, from the any article. Uh, it's coming. It's from before, especially like Al Jazeera Al Hamra. It was mentioned in many uh, article during the beach uh, breach uh, attack. Uh, so we can find uh, some information about Al Jazeera Al Hamra. And also the old photo. And uh, like this photo, I someone from Al Zaab, he gave me this photo for uh, him with his uh, uh, family uh, when they, are, well, they, are, they were living here. This is uh, a history. And second, uh, Second step, it's also second step, it's photography. And uh, from us, like a general photo, we will uh, also sometime we have photo like uh, someone did like from 10 years. So also we try to collect it. So third uh, step, it's digital photogrammetry. Uh, this we, we did uh, the digital photogrammetry, like uh, we, are, we should take photo for each building for or, or the site. Uh, in uh, yani in way in special way we should uh, take photos and uh, put it in, in the end in uh, use the software uh, digital software we use it to 
to have this model. So this model, it's, it's show you like the current situation of the building. And what we, uh, what we can do with this uh, model, after we finish this model, we are take from this model the elevation and the section of the site. So this can, and can give us quickly documentation because before we don't have this software, so you should do all the documentation by your hand, take all the measurement and uh, use the old machine like uh, 3D, uh, uh, like total station, leveling machine. After uh, they are uh, provide the 3D scan or this software, it, it, it's so helpful for our work because you can do everything quickly. Sometimes no need to uh, do documentation on the site, just you will take photo, but in a proper way because you should have the same distance uh, uh, from all the photos, same distance from you to from the camera to uh, the building and in the end you can build it and also you can use this uh, for after uh, complete uh, restoration or uh, uh, or conservation so you will have two types next step recording and drawing uh, after they are uh, the uh, recording team, they will do context, num they will give context number for the building, for the wall, this also it will be uh, connect with the uh, uh, archaeologist team because uh, all um, the remaining wall also have context number and in the end we should uh, draw the building. All the elevation, all the stone, all the uh, material, uh, all the crack we should, uh, we have it. Um, you can see the details of the of, of the drawing, same of the photo. And this is a plan. Yeah. Yeah, this is also uh, just uh, to show you our work. Yeah. Okay, decay mechanism. Um, what's the reason about يعني, what happened in Al Jazeera Al Hamra? Uh, some people they think, okay, because uh, something happened here, but no, nothing happened in Al Jazeera Al Hamra, just because it's abandoned village. Uh, when you are live in your house, you are do maintenance for the roof, for the wall. If you have any luggage, you will uh, repair it. But here, almost all the building is يعني, uh, empty. No one live here from many years. Uh, so after years, start uh, uh, collapse the building because no maintenance, uh, no maintenance, and also because the many reason uh, in general like the weather, salt environment, environment, and lack of maintenance, uh, humidity, material building, and the human activity. I will explain to you more. Like the weather, like because here uh, also in uh, UAE. It's uh, we have different, يعني, uh, like we have high temperature of the summer in the summer and also high humidity. Sometimes we are reach uh, 90 percent. So this it affects the building. You are you can you can now uh, hear about the climate change of in the world. So this also happening here because يعني, now we are see the uh, how it's the weather it's change in Al Jazeera in UAE in general. So. Um, this aff really affects the building. Why? Because you can see the humidity on our wall. Now, you, when you are working on the site, you will see some spot, uh, white spot, or uh, or in uh, in the bottom of the building, you will see different color from the plaster because of high humidity of the of the area. Next. Okay, what's the result of uh, decay? We will see like some building are uh, collapsed, we have cracks, we have loose of material, we have erosion on the stone or uh, in the plaster and uh, efflorescence, that uh, detachment and disintegration. Uh, you can see here like how, how it's we have the crack. Sometimes the crack is not coming from the ground because uh, yani, as you know, like sometimes uh, uh, the crack is coming from the uh, ground because of uh, the humidity or the water or the weak of the foundation. So the crack will start from the bottom. Sometimes, no, it's, uh, the crack start from the top because of the high uh, pressure from the roof uh, and the, uh, the stone is so weak, so they can't uh, handle this uh, roof. So it's a start the crack. You can see here, you can see here how we have loose material, here it's collapsed. 
Okay, this photo you can you can see in this photo how uh, the decay of the wall in the bottom here uh, of the building and loose of plaster and this because of the salt of the ground. When the water coming on the ground and it start uh, uh, start affect the plaster and uh, lose we will lost we will lose the plaster here and after this we will uh, start uh, uh, we will start uh, yani have the building start collapse from the bottom like uh, a stone uh, we will detach from the mortar and it will start collapse okay here also uh, i put this photo to show you sometime uh, what I mean about human activity, sometimes they are uh, uh, for repair when they are living on uh, their house. Uh, yani they have the right to do this because they are living and they will not think about, okay, we should use the same old material we use first. So they are start like use the cement material. So cement material is not good for a stone. Um, okay, maybe if the building is from cement, okay, but if they are used it above the stone, it's not uh, good for the stone because uh, um, cement have no bores, so uh, so the the wall it will be not breeze. So uh, here we see like um, the owner here maybe uh, he he apply. Uh, the cement. Why? Because maybe after years the uh, plaster, as I said, start collapse because of the salt coming from the ground or from the material itself. So he start repair it on this way. But yani, the, uh, um, the problem is not to stop because the, uh, the weak of the foundation here, because most of the building here of Al Jazeera Al Hamra is without foundation. Just they are built uh, the wall above the ground or just one or two level under the ground. Some building, yeah, we found the foundation, but it's yani, in minimum uh, numbers. So, but he, when he did this, the problem is not stopped because still the wall is so weak and no foundation and still the salt coming uh, to uh, above and we, we, we can see the crack. Here also you can see here we are, here we don't have window, here just a solid wall. So you can see now it's uh, all collapsed because also it starts uh, uh, um, plaster collapse and after this wall will be detached from the material. Here you can see uh, the um, uh, sand brick, how it look, uh, uh, here you have the, we have the crack. This is what I mean about sometimes no uh, weight, no overweight above uh, the wall. It is this why we have this crack on the wall if we don't have weight. This coming from the ground because we don't have foundation and the uh, sand brick, a sand uh, stone brick it's so weak because it's full of salt and it's soft uh, material so when uh, the water coming and the salt starts go uh, uh, in the wall so it will have like uh, it, it broke the block and the it will start the uh, crack sometimes it's a blo uh, it's a broke just the material the mortar between the block so you will see okay just the uh, 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 wall have like yani separated like this. Okay, this is the erosion. Maybe if you visit uh, the last event, of course, you will see this wall. And I like this wall, and I don't want to restore it. <laughs> you can see it's all the sand brick uh, stone here is uh, yeah, disappear. Uh, just how we have the mortar, and this mortar is stay because this uh, cement mortar, not uh, original material. So uh, you can see it's all uh, the material, it have erosion. Uh, you can see here, just we repair the bottom because we need to, uh, to not uh, lose this part of the wall. Um, it looks nice now, but yani, this is the situation of the decay of Al Jazeera Al Hamra. Like uh, it's from itself of the material sometimes, not uh, because something happened. Mm. I, I, just, I will explain about this. Uh, sometimes the wall itself is in good condition, but you will see the plaster uh, bowdering. Like still we have the plaster, the old plaster, but it's bowdering. Uh, why? Also because of the salt, because of the high humidity inside the building or inside the 
uh, room so you will see uh, if you put your hand on the wall you will feel it it's it's cold so uh, sometimes the stone is good like maybe uh, this house is uh, just from coral stone so it still stay exists but the plaster start uh, collapse uh, or it start be powder Uh, this is the most important problem in Al Jazeera and uh, maybe not all they are understand why we have two different color in Al Jazeera Al Hamra or uh, sometime why uh, we have uh, a spot of salt in Al Jazeera Al Hamra. I put uh, 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 Abdul Karim house uh, as example because this is the mo yani, oh, first yani, this is the most important house here. Uh, but why I put it? Because uh, near Abdul Karim house, this is the lowest uh, area in Al Jazeera Al Hamra, where, where we have here the water table is the hi in high level. Uh, after we dig here in just one meter, we found the water table of the sea. Uh, so this is the reason about uh, why the situation of restoration all the building near uh, uh, Abdul Karim house, especially Abdul Karim house, is not in good condition. Even after we finish restoration, and maybe in three or four months, you will start to see this result, like this. This I put this photo from 2000 to show you, like also from 2000, before do any restoration, and not uh, uh, this building not to touch. Also, we have the same issue in the bottom. But here, uh, the, uh, the plaster, it's collapsed, and the building uh, material start to be collapsed also. You can see. And after the, the restoration in 2020, you can see now the results. Still, you will see different color here, which have uh, high humidity. And you can see some plaster, it's uh, collapsed. OK. okay. Also. Uh, Sometime, without do any restoration, any conservation, any intervention on the site, you can see this here, this uh, archaeological uh, uh, remain here in the Souk area. After uh, they complete the excavation, just you can see the salt it's coming up in all around all the wall and above all the wall. So uh, yani, when you see this photo, you can <coughs> understand like. Uh, Everything happened on the site, like from the salt. It's not because our material, it's not because our uh, uh, work or uh, anything wrong from us or from the old people who live here. No, it's just because from the site, from, uh, uh, from the nature of this site. Because here, just this uh, just the ground, and here this, this is the remain wall, and you can see it's full of salt. Okay, now conservation. Um, conservation, this, uh, yani this word in general, what we have inside the conservation. Conservation have like uh, many type. Uh, first, the conservation, second, restoration, and third, development and management, and maintenance, and use and activation. Conservation, what, when we said about building, we are did just conservation, this meaning we are did preserving and maintaining for, uh, for the, uh, as the existing condition of a heritage site. Um, and we did, uh, and why? To, uh, to ensure long-term stability of this heritage for future generation. Uh, third, repairing through minimal intervention. Uh, what this meaning? This meaning like we are, um, we have archaeological remain and we need to do conservation. We can conserve, but as is it, yani, as we found this site uh, in exist condition, just we will repair it. We will uh, yani, make it stable for many years later. Um, without put extra, without rebuild, uh, just to make it, uh, to have support for this uh, remain and make it stable. Second type of conservation is the restoration. Uh, we use the restoration when we have full documentation of the building or um, if the building still exists and we need to use it so we can uh, choose to do restoration. What's the meaning of restoration? It's returning a heritage site or building to its original or historical significant state. Through repair or minimal uh, and minimal rebuilding following original documentation. 
because some people they are يعني, confused between uh, reconstruction and restoration. It's totally different. Reconstruction, maybe all the building is not exists and you will do a reconstruction. Uh, maybe you don't have documentation, you don't have any information about how it was look. But restoration, it's no, it's not rebuilt. You can rebuild when you have some part, it's collapsed, but you know how it was looking. You know, you have some documentation, you have some photo or old photo, or from the collapse material, we can uh, understand the building, we can know like uh, how it was looking this wall or, uh, or this element. Third uh, type is the develop the site and manage the site and maintenance because the maintenance uh, after uh, finish restoration is so important because every six months you should have re uh, maintenance for the building. It's not mean uh, we restore the building so uh, يعني it will stay like for uh, many years later without doing any extra work. No, you should uh, يعني, uh, follow the work. Uh, like you are uh, living in your home, if something happens, you will uh, repair it. Okay, so I, I put for you like photo from co about conservation, how we are working, like this type of work of conservation. Um, this uh, building here, after conservation, it just we are just uh, make it stable. We are not put extra work. Here also you can see this wall. We found it in this uh, uh, look, but just we are make it stable. We we not rebuild it. We not complete the wall. What we are used on uh, on this uh, in conservation work, we are as I said, we are used the same original material as we can. So uh, uh, for like for the houses which build from b uh, sand brick block, we are made now also here sand brick block from our recipe. We use the same uh, old material, but uh, as I said, we improve uh, the material just to have like uh, uh, good uh, result for future. Uh, also, we are uh, use the uh, beach rock and sand. Uh, sorry, and uh, coral stone. Coral stone. We, we use what we have. Like uh, from the collapse material, we are also reuse the uh, material. Yeah. You can see here also the conservation. Like this building, this room. You we we found it in this way. So after conservation, this is the result you will see. Okay, also this conservation. Uh, yeah, why we are not uh, yeah, complete uh, restoration for this building? Because in, in the end, is not uh, uh, yeah, uh, the meaning of our work not to restore all the building, just to yeah, make it stable and uh, keep it for next generation. Um, and sometimes it's no need to restore it because يعني, it's looking good after conservation. We can use it. We can use it for some uh, outside event or something, but uh, we prefer to have like the two type of uh, work on the site. And sometimes the building, it's not totally exists. Some just one room or two room, it exists. We should sometimes to do two type in one building, like uh, conservation and restoration. Restu full restoration for the room which still exists and other part of the building, we, we do just conservation. Okay, yeah. this also just exam. Okay. Just I want to mention about the most important archaeological site in Al Jazeera Al Hamra. It's the Grand Mosque of Al Jazeera Al Hamra. Um, um, I don't I don't think anyone here is visited just uh, because still is not open for uh, people. Uh, yeah, just the archaeologists. <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is the most important archaeological uh, site here and the biggest one. Um, and I like uh, this site because I start the work in Al Jazeera Al Hamra on this site. Um, archaeologist here, you can ask her about all the result of excavation after we finish. Uh, just I will give you a uh, short introduction about this mosque. This mosque is about seven uh, layer of the old, uh, old mosque. Um, last one, it's in 1970, is not exist now, but it's built from uh, cement and block and concrete. Uh, first one, we, we don't know exactly the date, but 
يعني it's back for 18th century or yeah yes so um, also the excavation on this side is took like maybe two years to finish and also when I work in conservation we continue found some remains or and they continue ex uh, excavation on this site. What's the uh, reason to um, do conservation for this site? Because all the layer of all the historical uh, mosques here, it's visible. So we should to do conservation and um, you can see <laughs> this this not the original wall. We we build a retaining wall for protect the site because this also in lower uh, level of the ground uh, uh, level. So all of this in the lower level, just the latest uh, mosque in the <coughs> high level. Can okay. So for uh, for this uh, mosque. Uh, before we start the work, we did con uh, the condition assessment and mapping. How we do this? We, as I said, first we should have the photogrammetry for the site, and we will take. We, we took from this uh, elevation and the section, and uh, we, uh, yani, uh, try to know what the decay happening here, what the issue uh, on the site. So after. Uh, put to what, um, what we have uh, problem here, like erosion, detachment of the plaster, we can see what we, we will do. And this site also, uh, yani we did for this site many tests, many uh, analyzing, uh, analyze for the material uh, to choose what uh, material we will use. Some, t some because most of, because not all the wall here, we use the same material. Some wall we use different material, different recipe, because it depends what they are used before. Okay, this is a photo after conservation. Just I put to show you, like here we have the old plaster, and after conserva conservation, just we are protected, and uh, we save it because this, yeah, uh, some uh, part it's so important and still exists until today, after many uh, many many years, and it's from gypsum uh, plaster. So uh, also we did conservation for <coughs> the plaster. So I just I, I show you like how it's looking after conservation. Yeah. Okay. Now for restoration. Restoration is different uh, way from conservation. In restoration, we have different uh, work we should do it. Um, hard work. Sometimes it take like six months to finish one building. Sometimes three months. It depends the building. And uh, you should know like the conservation and restoration is it's sensitive work. So we should do it in slowly way. Uh, Sometimes one wall for conservation we took like uh, two weeks to finish it because you should be careful for uh, the material, for the, the wall to not uh, lose it. So uh, for restoration, we have like um, many uh, work to do. Like some, t uh, we we should repair the wall. We should rebuild some area where we have uh, a collapse uh, material. We should uh, check the uh, roof and change the wood, which is not uh, uh, good anymore. Uh, we are also use something to improve uh, uh, the work. Like we are use also uh, waterproof uh, material to protect, uh, m to have more protection for the building. And uh, the most important also a step is the grouting. Grouting it's, um, uh, is a process. We do it inside the wall when you have hole. And sometimes uh, you can't see what you have inside the wall. If you have gap or hole or, uh, or it's empty. So you should fill this gap by material. So we. Uh, uh, use a, a grouting uh, machine to fill inside the the wall by mat same material, but we ha we make it liquid to go inside. Yeah. After restoration, you can see uh, this uh, result. Uh, I put this to show you this type of minimum rebuild of the site. Uh, we rebuild this wall. With this you can see here where we are rebuilt on this line and above. 
uh, all the collapse material it show us how this wall it was looking from inside and inside because sometimes we have from inside niche but when it's collapsed you can see in the collapse material the niche still exists so we are took the, uh, the measurement and we rebuild it in the same area where we found it yeah this also from other side Okay, this also uh, restoration. Uh, this is what we mean to back to uh, original uh, form of the building. Uh, this building after collapse, after lose the material, lose the, lose the roof here. Uh, after we finish all the work of restoration, it's looking like this. Some people, they said, why it's white, not like the old uh, color of the building. Old color of the building also, it was white, but after years, the color will be changed and it will be like beige or uh, more darker. Uh, and now also our work when we are finished, first when we are finished it's totally white, after one year start to be dark, after three years you will see a different uh, result. Okay, this is Abdel Karim house. Um, uh, this is the biggest house in Al Jazeera Al Hamra. You can see also this uh, result. Here also, uh, this is Beit Amran, uh, also one of the most important houses in Al Jazeera, and so beautiful because they have uh, two uh, level uh, majlis and uh, many decoration. Uh, and it was um, يعني, a special case of restoration because it's uh, yani, uh, the situation of this building was condition not good at all when uh, they start work. But this is now how it will be. Look. Okay, also when we have decoration uh, like this, uh, the extra, uh, also Al Jazeera Al Hamra, it's knowing uh, by the like, decoration here. And when you have house, have like many decoration and like looking good, you will know like the people who live here, they are in maybe rich more than other people. Or maybe they are care about building more than other people because some of them inside the room you will see many decoration also. So for decoration also we are uh, uh, protect what we found and we try to uh, draw all uh, uh, the, the yani, type of the decoration and we make sample from this and we uh, uh, rebuild it on the site. But what we found here we keep it we are not remove uh, the decoration or we are not remove any element we found it we keep it just we restore it uh, um, and, and the make it back uh, as before also maybe you visit in uh, the event uh, Rak uh, rakfa festival uh, this house this house is uh, was uh, coffee uh, coffee yeah coffee shop yeah, uh, this also, uh, yeah, I like this house. So here also you can see this room, it was before collapsed in one side. And uh, this um, tree, it's the oldest, old tree in, uh, in this house. We, uh, uh, we keep it and uh, of course we keep it. Right? <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, sometimes also the tree, it affects the building if it's near the wall because after years, yani, uh, all of, uh, what yeah, it's coming to the wall, so it will be affect the wall. But what we did here, like when we are restore uh, the building and restore the floor, uh, we try to build like wall, uh, s a small wall inside the ground around the tree to yani, uh, as we can to make it yani, in one area for later to not touch the wall. Okay, this is also just sample uh, about how we are, you will see the building before restoration and after restoration. This is also uh, inside. Uh, all of this uh, decoration, it, uh, we didn't touch it, just we do conservation for uh, the decoration. Okay, uh, after finished deco uh, uh, conservation or restoration, uh, the most important thing is to use the building because if you just do conservation and okay we leave and uh, not back uh, we will have the same result after many years we will have the same result we will the building will start uh, be collapsed or will be, uh, the, yeah, we will have the decay on the building 
So uh, uh, after uh, finish restoration, we should think about develop the site or about uh, use and activation of the site. And uh, here we, we the site it's used from five five uh, years from by uh, uh, by uh, uh, Ras Al Khaimah Fine Art Festival. And now you will start see the site. Yani in more events, not just in Ras Al Khaimah Fine Art Festival, we will host many uh, events here. But you can see how it's yani the the village it's back to life during the event. You can see how all the houses yani like 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 um, like we are back to 1950 when they are uh, living here. Uh, we like the idea before how it, they are use the building to uh, yani have, have, have furniture like what they are do before. Uh, and I think last event in uh, February, it was yani, so uh, yani, yani nice one, especially the day of the culture, because really yani, this, I work here from five years, and this is the first day I saw the site and, yani, back to life in this way. Um, I hope we will see the site any yani, more uh, uh, yani, later. We, uh, you will see later the site now in different way. So just I put some photo from uh, the event which they are did here, um, and this yani, this uh, uh, reason for do restoration to back <coughs> the life for the village. Yeah. Last one, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, we're just going to do a Q&A. Yeah. So, um, it's a very interesting. Did you enjoy it? Yeah? It's a very interesting, uh, you know, information that you give us today. So, I'm just going to open a floor for a Q&A as, you know, we have still some time. We have a few questions we can take. I have a question, but I would like to hear from you if you have any questions or should I start? Yes? Okay. And please, also, can you mention your name and where are you from as yeah. a institution? Hi. I am Ayman. I work in uh, Rasikhaina Municipality, Infrastructure Division. Uh, it seems that the people who are doing this know what they are doing and they love what they are doing. Uh, a big uh, problem for them. Uh, this area is surrounded by this new modern tourism area, industrial area which is maybe eating all the culture that you know, all the heritage sites. And it's good that uh, we still have uh, people who care about this area. I enjoy uh, February uh, Park Festival, actually. Uh, it's a wedding party. I, I, I came many times here. I like it. Uh, I really felt peace in some buildings. It was very, very nice. The weather was nice. And uh, uh, everything was talking to you. It's very nice about, to hear. About, uh, about their lives. It's good. And I hope that all the area will be the same that we are seeing here. Inshallah. Uh, all the houses will be, let's say, alive again. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now I see who's behind the uh, beauty that I saw in this area. Thank you. And also, you answered the good question for me. I didn't know why I didn't answer before. Why it was called Thailand and now it is not Thailand? I, I saw this uh, seventies in map and I saw maybe there was some bridge. I don't know. There was a bridge. I hope I can see a photo of that bridge. Yeah, in one uh, in one side connect with the uh, yeah, with the I land. I can see not uh, uh, not a bridge, but it's like uh, land, but it's just connect from one side. Yeah. And, and what happened for the water? Was it dried or the tide or there was some bad feeling? Uh, yeah, some yes. back feeling and also also the water it's back. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the, after the develop the area also, yeah. they are changing. So human. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Just I want to mention not just me behind of all this work, we are big team, a really big team and uh, more than 130 person uh, on the site. We have archaeologist uh, team, a uh, documentation team, restoration team, and the restoration team have like above uh, 100 workers. So uh, and now also after uh, also we are working together to develop the site with the uh, uh, Qasmi Foundation team and Al Marjan team.
I have a question actually for you. Where do you get your materials from? Ah, oh, okay. I can't tell you. <laughs> no, uh, as I said, sometimes we are use the same material from the collapsed material. Uh, from the, I, I mean about the stone, uh, coral stone and beach rock. We use the same material from collapse, and we have also a stock of uh, coral stone because uh, you know now with coral stone it's illegal to uh, take it, but. Uh, before uh, these rules, we have regulation, we have uh, stock of the coral stone. So we will keep use the coral stone, but for other material, like uh, sand brick uh, uh, block, we made it. We made it, on, we make it on the side. And uh, the mortar, as I said, we use our recipe, uh, but from the same material from before, we are use the lime and uh, mix with uh, sand. Uh, with some ratio to have the same uh, yani result as before. Okay. Uh, also, I have one question. Um, it's a person, maybe. How does a day in your life start? Mm. How <laughs> <does> it <laughs> Oh my God. Maybe you can just say it in like a few minutes. Like how, the, how does it start like when you start a day? I will not talk about day in summer, day <laughs> in winter, because <laughs> day in summer is different, but day in winter, it's, uh, I yeah, mean, different hours, you yeah, we have different hours of work, not all, but, uh, um, but you should, yeah, uh, following also the work, so b the workers uh, on the summer for three months, they are working at night, so also I should uh, follow the work at night sometime, uh, also the village, on uh, at night is totally different from uh, morning uh, but in normal day yeah we start the work uh, from early morning and um, I will not talk about the <laughs> what will happen to Yanni yani because you know like sometimes if you are love what you are doing on uh, in your life so you are you will be and you will be tired because you will notice every single thing yani, and you will complain about small uh, thing maybe it's you will not notice it but i will notice i will notice so like yeah so sometimes it's so difficult the day but sometimes uh, after you see the result you you feel oh my yani, i did it yani. and sometimes um, we we yani, we are working eight hours, but you can you feel like oh it's yeah like half day or more than half day we are working because too much pressure here. And as I said, this uh, uh, sensitive work, so you should follow like every single happen on the site. Sometimes uh, if you just leave the site for one hour, maybe uh, other company as they are work here, they will do something. Yeah. And it, because yani, in so you have yeah, you have to monitor everything. And also, I was going to ask, one time I think I've so seen you, I, 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 I asked you that question, but I wanted maybe to clarify. You cover the whole thing with the Nori. I thought you used to cover so people that doesn't yeah. see it. Yeah. And you told me... Yeah, this is a plaster. When we are uh, apply the plaster, because the wind or the air is not good for the plaster when it's still new, especially the weather here. So this is what I mean about when I explain about the weather, because uh, um, so we are covered to. Actually, just they wrap the whole building. Yeah, all like the building. Tent. We put like tent. Uh, to cover all the building to to uh, make sure not the air not coming to touch the uh, so plaster. So summer and winter. Yeah, summer and okay. winter. Mm. Because the Emirates have different uh, weather from other uh, countries. So even in winter, yani the weather still not uh, cold here. Okay. Yeah. So the plaster need to have like yani cold uh, weather to to uh, to have like a good result. But here we try our effort to yani keep uh, uh, the building, uh, yani, uh, yani, the air not coming to the building during the... And if something happens, you have to repair it like yeah. again. Yeah. Sometime. yeah, sometime you will see the result after dry. After dry, you st will start to see like some crack, some small uh, uh, crack on the plaster. And really, we can't yani, uh, also, we can't do anything for the small crack here or for like sm some spot of uh, the water here because this from yani, uh, the nature of the site, like what happened and the weather. Um, my last question would be, and then I can keep it up to you and then we can wrap that. So I just wanted to know if somebody would like to have information like school or universities overseas or in UAE, 
how can they get those documents? Are they available online on the site? Do they meet you? How do they? Do you give those? You know, uh, like a tour, or you know, mm. especially if they're studying, like your archaeologist or you know, yeah. like I mean. Or, yeah, uh, now Jazeera Al Hamra have a website. Uh, you can find all the information, historical information, and the, the photo. Yes, so you can find it uh, on the website and our Instagram page. Uh, and, so, and if you need more information, more specialist uh, uh, information, you can come to the site. You can arrange the visit also with uh, Qasmi Foundation. Uh, yani you can come to the majlis, yes. contact Muhammad. He can arrange uh, for you yes. tour we with us. Yeah, you can have tour uh, if you need uh, more information about excavation. You can have tour with archaeologists. You need more information about general work. We can have uh, a, a historical uh, tour or you, you need just uh, to know more uh, details, you can come to our office here in Al Jazeera. I was asking because I remember last year you had people from Spain coming, I believe. You remember? Spain? Yeah, there was a group of students. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I wanted to know more. This is why I was asking. Is that yes. available for them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the people just they want to visit the site. So this is a general tour, but sometimes really they are people, they are coming. They need special information. So for those people, we did special tours for them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have any questions before this? I just can't. I don't see a website. So is it just on social media? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now have website. No, there is. I mean, the website, no, it's uh, maybe it's not in the ah, background, okay. but you can, uh, it's just aljazeerahamra.ae. Al dot al dot yes. Hmm. And also, if you go to the Instagram account, there is, uh, the website is already there um the scan is for the survey okay. ah the scan okay but you can still follow us sorry the scan is for the survey <laughs> and uh, you can uh, you can follow us on instagram and then also on the other platform and you can find the website yes thank you my name is Shazia from I see that most of your work is outdoor, but I noticed in one of your slides that you were talking about digital photography, so I see that is indoors, which you're doing in the office, right? So yeah. So could you tell us, like, what are the softwares that you use so that maybe we can look it up and... Yeah, I, the photo which I put it is from 3D Scan AG Soft software. But have many other software, but this is what we are using here. And you have also other uh, uh, software for rectify the photo. You can also use it for, uh, um, is this different from 3D scan, uh, 3D, uh, sorry, 3D Max uh, software. 3D Max software is totally different. This uh, software just you are, take photo, put the photo on this software and you will have some process, you will do it and you will have this result. And you can do for everything, and yeah. you can do for this, for scrap, for any, uh, okay. anything. Is it possible that we can get a copy of your presentation, like maybe to, um, to a Cosmic Foundation or something? Or you can send it to all Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Sure. Please leave your email with Aisha and we'll send it out to okay. you. Thank yeah. Thank you. Yes, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Yes, one question? No, one question. Mm. <laughs> no, it's not a question. It's just want to thank. Uh, Asmi Foundation for uh, this uh, beautiful events and um, how they are uh, really uh, trying to uh, uh, spread this um, information and knowledge about uh, Jazeera Hamra uh, history. And also, I would like to thank uh, the team who work here in Jazeera Hamra, starting from uh, the archaeologists who start. Honestly, this work at the beginning, you know, when we are talking about the Jazeera Hamra, uh, we are talking about um, eight years uh, from uh, like the hard work that they, they, they started here in the Jazeera Hamra, whereas nothing exists in this, in this island. And uh, from uh, the, the support of His Highness uh, Sheikh Saud, the rule of Ras Khaima and the uh, fund from uh, Mubadarat, uh, the Translational Affair and uh, the Ministry of uh, Infrastructure, who start honestly uh, this, uh, this project and Alhamdulillah with the, the, the passion that, uh, that uh, uh, we have with our uh, leader, they, uh, they, they just 
keep going with this uh, with this project. Um, you know, from archaeologists and from the restoration uh, team that uh, they, they they do honestly all all of this beautiful uh, work in in Jazeera Hamra and they they they, they, they retain the spirit of the the, the village. Uh, also from uh, the other team who uh, join, I would say now uh, maybe the, the, the first four years that we we, we, we lived here in, in Jazeera Hamra, it's been a peace. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we just work um, slowly. But, uh, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, after uh, the, the team of uh, foundation, they, they join us here in the in the, in the Jazeera Hamra. Uh, I think the the week of uh, working here in the Jazeera Hamra has been like. Uh, uh, so fast, and uh, you know, because, because fast this, is, this is really <laughs> what we what we were, what we want here in Basel Khaima to to uh, it's not not to to wait to finish everything, uh, and after that we we will think about what we will do with this with this village. You know, we we just uh, take the, the decision to to, to activate uh, the site, and you know, year by year, uh, uh, every visitor. We came here to uh, to attend the the, the, the right far. He will see the different how it looked like last year and how it will look like inshallah uh, next year. Uh, thank you uh, all for uh, you know working here and uh, being uh, with us. And thank you for uh, you all for attending this uh, event. Good. Thank you. Mr. Ahmed did a very nice presentation. I was actually going to say thank you very much for all of our audience on behalf of the Al Jazeera Hamra Heritage Village. And um, yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you. I don't know. I would like to thank the team. So we have Mr. Ahmed Tarbush, Aisha Ashihi. PJ and Luis and my name is Sokrat and Dr. Natasha Raj. Mm -hmm. We're all from the Al-Qasim Foundation. We have Mr. Ahmed al Khariji from the Department uh, of Antiquities, Department Antiquities and Ms. Uh, Hala. I would like to thank you, Hala, very much. Thank you, Sokrat. Very interesting, um, you know, majlis. So we would like to also invite you for our next majlis. It's going to be on the 13th. If you loved our first majlis, uh, our summer majlis, we would like to encourage you to attend our second one, which is going to be on the 13th. And followed by the, uh, so we have two majlises, one of the 13th and the other one's on the 20th. Um, also, if you have any more information, we're going to be on the site. And um, yeah, I think that's. Speaking at the next and who's going to be speaking at the next majlis? Uh, our archaeologist, Damian. 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 Yes. Yeah. So we will know more about the result of excavation yes. on the site. And then also we have uh, a speaker from Al Jazeera. Um, sorry, Yusuf Zabi. Yusuf Zabi. Zabi. Yusuf Zabi is going to be also with us yeah. on the last one. Thank you very much, and we hope that you have a lovely night. And thank you, Sprout. Just have a very small topic for appreciation for you. Oh, thank you. Can we have a round of applause for Thank you, Shukran. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you surprised me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>